Let's learn how to control the, the presentation of the overlaid text by adjusting its horizontal and vertical alignment. First look under Vision and Motion, then Vision Utilities, and then iMac Overlay Text. Let's consult the help on this VI. You'll notice that there's an input called Font, Size, and Style up on the top. And this is what we need to work with. Let me begin by creating a constant for this cluster. And you'll see that it has a fair amount of stuff going on on the inside. Let's investigate this a little bit more fully. We see that we can choose the font name, a bunch of aspects of the font itself, like bold-faced and italic and so on. And then we have some options here at the bottom related to alignment. I'm going to look at the more detailed help for a moment. Down here at the bottom, Horizontal alignment, we have three options all together. I'm interested in centering the text within the uh, location for the text. Vertical alignment, you also have three options. And I'm interested in changing this to aligning the text along the baseline. And you can simply click the desired values and you're all set. The expanded cluster takes up a lot of space here, so you can double click on the frame or you can select view cluster as icon, and that makes that a little bit more compact. The only difficulty with this one is that it's not easy to see how the cluster, of course, has been set up. So another way to do this, I'll show you next, we'll take that cluster constant and then feed that in as the initial value for bundle by name. Once you've done this, then it's possible to pick off the two alignment options and make them visible. So this improves the documentation and readability. So we would say, choose your horizontal alignment and then your vertical alignment. I'll create constants for these purposes. Now here's where you needed to know specifically the numerical interpretations. So one was for centering and two was for alignment along the baseline.